Good afternoon, just hit 5.30 here at Matheson, 24 hour stay. We've just uh, found a nice little park, a bit close to the road, but there wasn't too many options that were flat. There's a few other vans already in here. So we did have to put the clocks forward at an hour and a half. It's about 320 k's from Kununurra. So it took us about four hours to get here. Stopped at Timber Creek to get some fuel, had a quick bite to eat, and then back on the road to get to here. Do have plenty of bins around, which is good. Toilets and a dump point as well. Morning here at Matheson Rest Stop. Well, the road noise did die down by about eight o'clock. There were oh, maybe two or three trucks, a couple of cars after that between eight and 11 or so, but generally pretty quiet considering how are close you are to the road. There's your dump point. I assume it's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty fez, but. And then we're, a, we're a toilet's pretty clean. Usual long drops. And you'll see the best spot to probably stay is up the back here. A little bit further away from the road. So we've got 90, I think it's 96 k's to Catherine Farm stay. It's only been open for a few months, but the reviews are really good. Check out Wiki for that one. And it's five or so. You can't drink any water. Remember, it's got to still be treated. Um, and it's 5Ks out of Catherine or so. Well, we'll see you at Catherine Farm Stay. We have arrived at Catherine Farm Stay. You just follow the, um, the road around and you'll see the Catherine Farm Stay sign on one of the poles. This is it. Please see M and B. Oh, look at the car. Cow car. We're all set up here at Catherine Farmstay, site 19. We've got the playground just behind us. There's the playground. Toilets and showers, little camp kitchen. The river's just over the back there. They do get crocodiles here, so just be mindful of that, especially with the little ones. There's about 45 sites, and I'd say by the map, there's about 20 or 30 that are powered. The rest being probably unpowered. Uh, there is water, but it is bore water, so just be careful of that one. $35 a night for powered and 25 for unpowered. So it's got the barbecue up here. Nice little seating area. And we'll get down and check out the river. We're about 10 minutes from Catherine Town Centre and obviously the hot springs and everything around there. And there's a lot of animals here, buffaloes, goats, bird life, a couple of snakes, macaw in the office there, so Really good spot for the kids here. And pretty cheap. And you shouldn't get any drama with any theft out here either. Being out of town. Well, we'll keep having a look at around here. If you do need to catch up on some washing. Washing machine and dryer. Got the honesty box system here. Two dollars each. That's quite fair and reasonable for sure. So he, he's gonna set up a good spot here, that's for sure. They even have a baby saltwater cock that they're gonna make a pen out of and then feed it. Yeah, you know, get, get a little baby minutes. saltwater croc in the office. So I'll go show you the salty, there's a python in there and also a macaw. All right, we're just heading down to Catherine River. Van just parked up there. It's got the good white soft plastic that's not too white. Uh, I think it was a five incher. It's 
been laying in the soil. So just be wary of crocs around here. And I'll show you when we get to the uh, to the riverbank. All right, here we are down at the boat ramp. And I'm pretty sure the photo that the guy showed me was right in front of that tree there. So can't see any crocs sitting up here. Just keep an eye out for some croc tracks, I suppose, as well. A few tire tracks, that's about it. I'm gonna cast around that snag, see if anyone's home. Right. Definitely definitely no croc tracks, just footprints. Not liking how quick I could get out of here if I had to, but anyway. Can't see anything in the water. I don't have the best eyesight. Oh look at the words up birds up there. Beating time at the zoo. <laughs> well, I can't get can't get my hand in properly. Oh, watch your horns, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. I got a chicken. Oh, hello. Got a chicken. We let the dogs out. Look at the size of these pellets. Yeah. Hold your hand softly. Like, hold your hand out. Hold your hand out. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> Go underneath now. Like what do you buy, mate? Can you say you want to have a pet? I'll say that you're going to have a pet. Alright. You ready? Oh, he's giving you a little bit of a Yeah, put your hand out. Put your arm out a bit and you'll see him. That's it? No? I'm good. Oh, it's not fair. Can you put it on me again? No, just wait. Oh, I'm next. No, I'll be next. Ooh. 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 I think I'm okay holding that. That's nice. Dude, you're only scared. Don't let him look around your neck. You're going to die. Eat the food. Oh, yummy, yummy. You got it? He's a bit. Stop eating sand. Do they eat? Does anyone want to be pig food? No. Me, I would. You I want would. to be pig food? No. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I'll, be. I'll come in. Yeah, I'll come in. That fox is going to go very big. Mm. No. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. I like it. 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 Good morning from Catherine Farmstay. Just fed the animals last night and dropped the cast net into the lower level bridge pretty big so I've just got a dead bait on here I'll show you that a bit later got a dead bait on that one and I've got a live little perch about yay big about the size of a vibe so this is the little live bait there's this one little perch left down here can't even grab them there's one little perch left here Got a bigger one on now. And then anyway, we'll... boys are doing their schoolwork. Let's see if we can get a, at least get a hit. I'll cast into the deeper water on the other side. We'll see if there's any barrow around. Wish me luck. All right, we've got an inquiry on the dead bait. Just let him, let him go for a minute. He hasn't taken it yet. No, 
Might have missed him. So he comes back. It's tightening up again. No. No, it's racing here. Here he goes, he's still going again. Gonna wait about five or ten seconds. Pull back, oh no. Why oh, is he in there? Well, missed that opportunity. But these are the baits I'm talking about. Not sure what they are. As I said, the locals called them a brim, but maybe just a big fat mullet of some sort. I don't think I'm going to get another chance. It was a pretty big bait. So I just ran back to the van. Grabbed three more of them. One's back out there. And I just checked the little livey. He's still swimming around. Be good if they took the little ivy, it's a smaller bait. We're hooked on on the livey. Sorry about the camera, but I've got a wand. There he is. Did one jump near the log over there? It's a little one, I think. Might be catfish. It is a caddy. First caddy. Did an actual little jump. I thought it was a barra right over there. Did the jump. Well, just as I put the camera away, the livey streamed off. I think there's a size limit on them. Yeah, perfectly hooked on the side with a circle hook. Gotta be careful of these bad boys. That spikes all over them. Well, at least we got something out of here. As I said, I got a nice hit on that uh, big dead bait earlier. All right, let's get this guy off. Put on our last little livey. All right, we're gonna let this catfish go. We've got enough fish in the freezer. We're after the barra. You can have a good look at him. Let's watch out for their spikes. Oh, you go, buddy. You can do it. Go, go, push. There he goes. Like a goldfish. Just don't go take him online again, buddy. Lazy man's fishing. All right, that might be just about a wrap. If I get something else, I'll obviously switch back on. Pretty cool. I've just gone out to check out Catherine Gorge or Nipaluk National Park. We've actually just gone through the visitor center as we're parked here. But we'll show you the visitor center. Pretty awesome in there, gifts, coffee, some lunch you can grab there. And we're just going to make our way down to the boat ramp and then follow the loop and just go check out Burraway Lookout, looking over Catherine River. Let's go check out the river. Oh, that looks nice. Is that the boat ramp? Yep. That's the boat ramp. We're going to see if there's any uh, fish or crocs along the bank. Let's go have a look. Got the jetty for the boat tours just next to the boat ramp. Look at the view through here. Wonder when their next cruise is. Right, we're on the yellow lookout trail. It's 1.8k return. 
So 900 meters up the escarpment. The jetty and everything's just through the trees down there. Right, we're going to go climb this uh, big rock face. Yeah, I got the shirt off. It's quite warm. Carly might get hers off too. Alright, let's go. Well, we made it to the top of the lookout. Sorry if you can hear the wind. Here's the Nipmaluk Visitor Centre. Start all your tours, check ins. Just there. And the little shaft to this area isn't here till 3. The actual trails and everything. All aircon, fans outside, cafe. Little museum there. All right, we're gonna go visit the hot spring. Go visit the hot spring. Have a quick bite to eat. Make some wraps. Just look for the sign just past the cafes. Uh, it says freshwater crop and saltwater crop. Oh, let's see how lucky we are. All right, last few stairs to the hot springs. Got a couple of noodles. It's pretty a busy. Few doodles. Oh yeah, there is it. There is down here. Yeah, a few doodles. Always a. Oh, he's got three. Always more snags around. All right, we'll get changed and jump in. This is the hot springs. You can slide off, slide off this little bit. Let's go. Getting pretty shallow. Pretty awesome that this is right in town. Go back up the street. Bit of a current. What temp is this? It feels about 25, I reckon. <laughs> it's so warm in here. Yeah. It actually doesn't, um, definitely, don't come here if you want to cool down. No, it's not. This is probably what the Barrow like it at. Yeah, but <laughs> I like it. This is Barrow temp. This is what we need for the Barrow Jude. Well, this is the hot springs. And it definitely is hot. Well, warm, but it's yeah, it is a hot, hot it is a hot. The name is hot springs, but it's like it's, it's mid twenties like at least. Yeah. Like it's not, I'm coming though. 
Two boys. In you go. All right, you ready? Go here. Go. Okay. Pass the noodle. Well, that's the hot springs. We'll show you how we're gonna we're gonna go and get some uh, live bait a bit later. So I'll show you. Dad caught a catfish this morning. Got a catfish this morning, which you'll see. Silver cobbler. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll get the cast net out, have a go at casting, get some live bait, and I'll show you what someone taught me last night how to throw these cast nets. Really easy, and was pretty much easy every time. Well, that's it for the hot springs. I'm going to go have a swim. And we might start up the top and see if we can uh, drift us down to the back here. I hurt your eyes still. Oh, making our way down. Ready? You gotta be careful of the rock. Oh, log. <laughs> <laughs> One good haul. I just put it around my right arm, about a foot, and just loop it around. And we also got some bait, heaps actually. We'll give you a look. All right, even at this bit. Wrap that around. Go down again. So there's all your looped line in there, and then. And then you're going to find about the halfway point, go to the side, grab the side and then put over your thumb, far left side again, put over your thumb, far left side, put over your thumb, three or four will do, and now with your left hand, just grab it all up, the far side again, you're just going to grab as much as you can. So I'm virtually holding half the net now. And now, oh, get it. it's just a semi-rotation here of the hips. See how we go. And out. There we go. Let it sink. Fast. Fast. 
got one maybe. Oh, I got one little one. <laughs> got one little one. We scared all the other fish away. Hey, Dad. But have a look in the bucket. These are all the ones we've got. Uh, Dad, I found this one in the water. Alright, here we go. Let's have another go. Same again. That's all we want. Two There's mullet. Are they, are they mullet? Are they're, they, mullet. they're mullet. That's they're all mullet. we want. Quickly, keep these ones alive. I want the other alive. ones out. Keep these alive. Take the other ones out. Dude, put the other ones in this one. Okay. Take them all out. Put them in this one. We want the mullets alive. Okay. No, no, all of them. That it's is alive. the perfect barramundi bait. Oh, I don't oh. Oh, we've got a live mullet on. We're just trying to see if there's a some something that can eat it. It's quite a big bait. Your GoPro's on one percent, so it might die. Sorry about that. There's a bit of pressure there. Maybe tighten it. We'll just tighten it a little bit. Could be a smaller fish just playing with our bait here, but. Good morning from Catherine. Just driven 35 k's to the southeast, and we're going to visit Cutter Cutter Caves Nature Park. So we booked in for a tour at nine o'clock. It's now 8:50. So as usual, we're running a little bit late. You meant to get here about 15 minutes earlier. But this is Cutter Cutter Caves. All right, we're at the visitor center for ticket sales, etc., and to check in. Just remember as well, you do need to wear enclosed shoes, otherwise they won't let you on the tour. So make sure you've got your enclosed shoes. They've actually got a sign up on the window here. And on the table and everywhere else. Is mandatory. Got some artifacts here. Pretty cool. Possums, bats. All right, we're gonna head out the other side and get ready for our nine o'clock tour, which starts in a few minutes. We'll see you in the caves. We're entering the cave. Watch your head. Oh, there's a little bit of light in here. Doing. <laughs> now on the rare occasion we do go back there, it's normally a couple of us guides, a couple of rangers and a couple of scientists. We go back there to check on our bat's health. 
And the majority of them have migrated back there because of all this cold weather. We also go back there to check on that water table. So in that water table is a really cool little dude called a Parisia, which is a completely blind shrimp that's only found in one other place in the world. And that's a water table in Madagascar. So they're kind of proving that Gondwana theory of once upon a time all the continents being connected. And there's a fair chance that little shrimp Spider there, yeah. Oh. oh my eyes. Well, that was Cutter Cutter Caves. You'll see some of Carly's footage because the GoPro is not the best in the dark. We're just walking back over the top of it this time. Extra 100 meter walk. And if you want to check out our other cave visit, Mammoth Cave, back in Margaret River, I'll put the, uh, just look in the top right corner there, you'll see the video for Margaret River to check out Mammoth Caves. Which With the like stalactites, stalamites, and a few columns, which is what we just saw in here today as well. So you like the Margaret River, Mammoth Caves. Yeah, the Mammoth Caves had a guided tour with audio, headset, but, and this one's a lot shorter as well. Yeah, this one's a bit smaller. Yeah, it's a smaller cave for sure. Yeah, there's lots more crystals in it. More crystals, which I don't think you really get anywhere else, pretty much in the world, I believe she said. Yeah. yeah. Because of yeah, the dry and wet season they get here in NT. See, that's about the airflow, remember? Changes in the landscape affect the environment within the cave. That's going to turn into a new cave entrance at some stage. Yeah, probably. So that's here, see? Cutter Cutter Caves. Dream time, if they use the word twice, means many. And this cave is many stars. So the story is told that the bats would fly out of the cave and put the stars in the sky at night and when they fly back in they put the stars back on the rocks hence the name Cutter Cutter Caves so, and see if we can get that barra or something that keeps biting our lines at Catherine River at Catherine Farm State we're back at the kiosk now and the car park Cutter Cutter Caves, so it's $28 per adult and $17.50 for children and under fives are free if you're looking at coming to Cutter Cutter Caves. Alright, we're going to head off now and back to Catherine. Good morning, just leaving Catherine Farm Stay. We're on the Stewart Highway heading to Edith Falls. So we'll be in Edith in about uh, 45 minutes, 60 k's, just out of Catherine, heading north northeast. Great stay with Michael and the crew there, feeding all the animals. Didn't get that barra that's uh, still at the Catherine River there, that's but maybe next time. That. Just a FYI. Make sure you check out Petrol Spy if you haven't downloaded Petrol Spy yet. As I just filled up on the way out of Catherine for two dollars and ten, it's two dollars twenty-one everywhere else in town. It's only three or four k's out of town, and it was on the way we're going. So that's a big saving. Petrol Spy probably saves you a few hundred dollars, if not thousands, when you're travelling around Oz. That's it there. Shows you all the prices. Select diesel, unleaded, whatever fuel you're using. And away you go. All right, we'll see you in Edith Falls. Can't wait, we'll get a nice swim in this afternoon.
check-ins at 12. Hopefully our campsite can uh, fit our rig. Apparently they're pretty tight, so we'll go for a walk before we start the drive into the actual campsites. We'll see you at Edith. Woo!